Pete and Hannah's watch list. I'm your host, Pete Mitchell. I'm here with my great co-host and comedian, Hannah! Hi, people. Hannah, we're here today for What's Next, the show where we help you figure out what to watch next. On today's show, it is Despicable Me 4. Banana. But before we begin, let us tell the viewers and the listeners what they should do. Party, please. Please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Your feedback, good, bad. Tell us what movies you'd like to see, whatever. Hit the notification button and you'll get great content like this one, including we interrupt regular programming where we covered every single TV show. A lot of and TV. And do you know what comes out next week? The Bear, <laughs> season three. It's going to be huge next week as well. Uh, this week on the channel, we have... What's next? Mm-hmm. What about to do? Tomorrow is movie news. Yes. Where we have clickbait, clickbait headlines, uh-huh. and we preview what we're going to watch next week. And then we have AFI Top 100 this week. Yes, yes, yes. Movie number we're gonna 71. Save, we're going to save a guy named Ryan. I think he's a private. What a jerk. <laughs> uh, also, we have Chip Chip and Horror Phone 1991 and yeah. Blockbuster. So yeah, we did. Great week yeah. on the channel. Before we get on to yeah. Despicable Me 4... Let us tell the viewers our championship belt holder yeah. for 2024. So far this year, mine is Challengers. And mine is Civil War. Do you think we'll ever get a movie to challenge it? I mean... Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I have a feeling. I have a feeling we're going to have both have challenges. I, I've, I, have, I think Wicked's going to be yours. I think Wicked's my challenger, and then I think deep down inside, maybe Twisters. <laughs> I, I hold hope. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I have I have one, but I'm not going to say. Yeah, you keep it to your cards. You can chess, mm-hmm. your mm-hmm. gladiator twos. Yes. Oh, that's going to be good. Doing, I'm not doing gladiator <laughs> two. Uh, let's get on today's show, and it's Despicable Me 4. Mm-hmm. It's, yes, um, fourth in the franchise. Six well, overall. sixth in the franchise yeah. overall. So there's been four Despicable Me movies, and there's been two mini movies, which is kind of spin-offs. So far. So far. Uh, Illumination, Chris Renard. Uh, writers, uh, Ken Dario and Mike White. Mike White, what is fame. Oh, yeah, rock. yeah, yeah. Awesome. Uh, Henna. Yes. Uh, I just... Can before, you... Yeah. Can you tell me... Yeah. Uh, your relationship to the Despicable Me franchise? I, uh, I've seen all of them, mm-hmm. but Minions 2. Rise of I, Gru. Yeah, Rise of Gru. And I remember seeing the first one, and I loved it a lot. I was like, this is funny. Minions are cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then everything after it, it's been just like, woo! Because Minions, I mean, they've been the most, like, memeified thing on the planet. That is true. So much so that I think the reason, like, Minions really, like, the last movie was, like, so successful was because everyone was just seeing it and dressing mm. up. But... Uh, yeah, I find Minions annoying, but I find this series also became, it took away from probably the family really hard aspect that the movie originally had and became straight comedies, especially the Minions movies. They're just comedies. Mm -hmm. There's no, they're, they're children's comedies in, and I think it's good to have those, Mm -hmm. but they are very much commercialized comedies. Okay. Yeah. Uh, So I, I understand why they have an audience. I have a problem with minions. But. This one, the elevator pitch for this one is um, Gru has a, a, a kid, new kid. Yeah, they. Yeah, Gru yeah. Junior. Gru Junior. Gru Junior, and he doesn't like him. And well, Gru Junior, yeah, it's yeah. like kind of like mm, yeah. I'm not that that. No. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow, good accent from you. <laughs> uh, he's also working for A V. Yeah, the a, it's the um, anti villain league. league. Yeah. And he's trying to take he's down a, a, an ex a uh, roommate for him, ex um, schoolmate of him, yeah. uh, Maxine, played by Will Farrell. Yes, and Who's... he vows revenge, and so they have to go to a safe house, a la the Thompsons or a la KP. Yeah, yeah, they go under witness protection, Pro- which yeah. is a great concept for this movie. Yeah, yeah. It, at this, and that's the thing. This beginning half of this movie is yeah. so incredible. Great, it's so great good. voice talent. Steve Carell, uh, back, Kristen yeah. Wiig, yep. uh, Will Farrell plays a bad guy. I just said. Uh, Joey King, um, using a lisp in this movie. Yes, yeah, she Love plays it. a young girl next door. Uh, Sophia Vergara, I thought, she's only the... using. Yep. I, she's barely used. She's yeah. just like an uh, the side piece to mm. Will Farrow's. Uh, Marina Cosgrove as Margot, uh, who yes. hasn't aged at all. Um, <laughs> yeah. 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 She's 
They've all been. Steve Coogan is uh, still this r- Ragabottom, the um, head of. Mm-hmm. I think uh, Stephen Colbert. Yeah, um, it's the next door neighbour. Next door neighbour. Yeah. And Chloe Feynman from um, Saturday Night Live. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. No interaction with um, her daughter at all. Like, just the daughter just. The, yeah, they're, right. they're, they're, their parents are yeah. very rich and just don't care about the daughter who is into villainy, yep. much so. I'll say this movie. I've never seen any of the Despicable Me movies. Yeah, you, you've never, never seen, seen them. Never seen them. Um, doing a lot of things for the channel. Uh, I will say the first half of this movie, I loved it. I laughed. Yeah. And then the second half of this movie, it just lost my interest. It, it's like, I was like a kid. I Honestly, it, it just forgot. Squirming in my seat. I was, I, I, you know, I contemplated leaving and going to get something to eat and come back. It, it, honestly, and for me, in the second half, that's when they fell apart because they didn't know how to... St- steer the story and i think they lose it because they use so there's a next door neighbor who um blackmails grew because she she knows who grew is yeah poppy and she has a lisp yeah thanks and anyway so because they're in witness protection she blackmails him into helping her because she wants to steal this badger how like seriously how does grew get away with like he stole the moon and well, he has movie, no was, disguise whatsoever. Um, yeah, none. Here's the thing. That's except the, wearing a pink shirt. My my big thing is that he has three minions that follow him all the time yeah, and well, help him with the baby. Two in this one. No, well, there's three. One one's, them, in a, one's in a, one vending, stuck machine, in a vending machine. And the vending machine alert. walks away. Uh, uh, he just gets placed randomly throughout the, the yeah. story. Anyway, he's got minions following him, so it's obviously that's the villain guy. I mean, mm. a big red flag there. But. Yeah, he gets blackmailed by this little kid. And then it feels like there's a disjoint. Like, I think with the previous films and the Despicable Me franchise had this... Uh, like, you still have the children have their own, like, solid, like, big chunk of the subplot. Yeah. In this one, both um, uh, Kristen Wiig's character, which is the, the wife, and the kids, they all just get... Like, they're just the comedy roles and just... Everyone had, like, when they first came, like, everyone sucked at their new identities, and, like, that was funny, but then they just didn't develop. Yeah, they, let's stop. Like, it would have been much more of a development if, say, they all messed up and everyone just figured out, you know. Yeah. Like, there's just no way, because Guru and his family have done, like, countless things from the previous films. Yeah. Like, it's oh, really yeah. weird. Yeah, I thought it was strange that the heist was the... No, no, I didn't. Yeah. The, I don't think the, it, the fact that, that he doesn't have a wig or something yeah. in this movie. Just, yeah. I know his brother has long hair, but you could just make him look slightly different. You just... Yeah. He gave him uh, a pink polo shirt. Pink and polo that's, shirt, yeah. That's it. He's, yeah. he's a new Rocking guy. Pink polo shirt. Um, before we do the review for this one, do you have a ranking for Despicable Me movies? Uh, There's four now. One is number one, yeah. of course, because it's great. Yeah. Uh, I think two just... Two, I don't like personally, but I think it's better. I would put... Uh, and three, I personally put at the bottom because I think three is just not really funny. So four is better than three? I think four is better than three. Wow. Just comedy aspect-wise because mm. I found I was... There was moments I was just like, oh, that's funny. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, that's funny. And even like, when like I have a thing... But when the minions Wilf, go, uh, Wilf, when the uh, minions go bottom, <laughs> yeah. I laugh too because it is uh, funny. Will Ferrell as the baddie in this, um, as Cockroach Man. Cockroach Man. Man, it works for me. I love it. With fake f- French accent. I as will well. say, yeah, the villain, the villain aspect works as well. Yeah. I, it was just the subplot of it was the Joey King like new yeah, it was neighbor. Really next, weird. It just doesn't. Yeah. It's. Okay, it doesn't fit the storyline. Because then, then it has, he also has Stephen Colbert as a neighbour. I, I think it just didn't need was, so many characters. I don't mind the Stephen Colbert funny neighbour bit. No, no, but, but what I'm saying is I don't think it needed Joey King. I think it would just would have been fine yeah. with Stephen Colbert. And then and Stephen all funny Colbert things. just like... And then Gru doing daily t- tasks. Like he's supposed to be a solar panel salesman. Wouldn't it be funny if he was going door to door doing I, I solar panel salesman? I know, because that would have been funny. Yeah, that would be funny. I, I think, yeah. I don't I, think it needed the heist bit. I just don't think it needed it at they all. They added a new character yeah. that just didn't need... Like the yeah. three... He has three daughters. Yeah. Like he don't need another yeah, female been, Well, one of the daughters character. didn't want to say their name and as their... Oh, the yeah. New, um, yeah. <laughs> I, keep, I keep remembering Brittany. Agnes, uh, like um, Agnes, Agnes and yeah. stuff. Yeah. 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 Brittany was her... Um, yeah, Edith, Edith yeah. was like, I don't mind. Yeah, and then yeah. but Agnes was just like, yeah. I don't want to lie. Yeah, and yeah. and that was funny, but then they don't... 
and they don't advance yeah. anything or really talk about the family. Like, I think... It would have been, and you know another thing is, like, yeah. she gave up her goat as well. It would have been funny if the goat found a way, found a way to the... Yes. Yeah. It would have been... It was just... Yeah. yeah no, it it yeah. feels like they just gave up halfway through this movie yeah. and just, like, There's, like, also, the uh, um, some of the minions don't come along and then they get the minions into are, a, The minions are... Yeah, the minions are basically then experimented on because yeah. they're, the league have them. Yeah. Um... And then they make super minions. And yeah. I'm like, okay. I call them the bad batch because minions are like clones. Yeah. And yeah. so I, I was like, oh, they're oh, just okay. like, they're just weird versions. Yes. Uh, okay. I'd Would you recommend th- people watch this? I think if you loved every other minions movie. Yeah. yeah the minions are actually top notch in this one. They're pretty funny. As cartoon. Even, even the minions. As anime. animated movies or cartoon movies go, I would say this is not bad. I reckon it's pretty good. Yeah, you would if you like this one. Like the first one is like you have um, Marshall. Um, you have um, Marshall Erickson. Jason Segel. Yeah, Jason Segel's the villain Vector, yeah. and yeah, that. Ah, uh, the Gru, the, Gru, Gru is the villain a lot. really worked in this for me. Yeah, he yeah. he worked Will Vector. Vector. I just no found no um, Maxine, cockroach. Maxine, yeah. yeah, yeah, Maxine. cockroach man. <laughs> yeah, cockroach man. <laughs> really works. For he me. has like his he own gave, minions. Like, he gave I, like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles vibes. I love his minions are like cockroaches. Yeah, and that they're, they're like yeah. shouting. And they have thing. like hard hats on. They and actually, stuff like. I don't yeah, know why like he made them cute. I don't know. Why I should. love it. I love it. Uh, rating for this one? It's a golf club. I mean, oh, it's a golf club. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, well. oh wow. No, oh, I, I, I think inside, say I, I think I think inside I think inside out's better inside out two is better than this movie. I think inside no, I would never I wouldn't I personally wow. don't like Inside Out Two. I just like I thought Inside Out Two's heart was I think they're the yeah. same, but one's more of a comedy movie, one's more of a heartfelt Pixar movie. But they're the same in both All right. they both have yeah. problems. She's converted me. Because Golf Club. They are just sequels that continue the same yeah. The same plot. They're not, they're they not, haven't... They, yeah, they're not Both running. of them haven't changed originally yeah. their main ideas... Agreed. ...to make new movies, you know? Yeah. It, they're not a Toy Story 2, like, in a sense. Like, a sequel to a to a, to a an animated feature should be, like, revolutionary. Yeah, like, that's true. A different, like, Toy Story 3. That is, <laughs> that is it for today's show. Despicable yeah. Me 4. Yeah, we... Golf Club. We wait. And then we get Despicable Me 4. Then we get... Yeah. Yeah. Well, there'll be a week where we have four movies, and yeah. good luck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that is it for today's show. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we did a draft, and just let you know that I won it, and then I'll be announcing the win. What we're going to do next on the draft? Um, yeah. 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 I'm sad. Be announcing tomorrow. Be interesting. Yeah. Be interesting. Yeah. Mm. Awesome. Mm. Uh, that is my lovely co-host Hannah. Long live cinema. Until we meet again, it is a bye for now.